It's 845. Holistic nutritionist Joy McCarthy is back. Hi, Joy. Hi, everybody. So Hi. good to have you here. Nice to see you all again. Sugar, man. We hear so much uh, about how you mm. got to reduce the sugar. It ages you. It the dreaded calories. sugar. It's the this, the that. So you're going to take us through what might be a typical breakfast for a yes. lot of people watching. How much Shocking. sugar is actually in it and how you can reduce it. Yes, exactly. So first, I would like to show this. This is just under a cup of wow. white sugar per day. This is the average amount of sugar that people eat per day. Pretty wow. scary. So this can equate to up to 150 pounds of sugar per year. Right. And I think most people don't even know that they're doing this, but it's easy to see. Like, for example, you know, this yogurt. Mm -hmm. Yogurt has six teaspoons of sugar. Mm -hmm. And this is a flavored... Are we talking flavored yogurt? Yeah, flavored yogurt. Okay. Sorry, not all yogurt. So look for plain. Add your own, you know, applesauce, or we'll talk about that in a bit. But I just wanted to show the typical breakfast. Juice can be as much as a, a can of pop in terms of yeah. how much sugar. Yep. Cereal, that's another hidden source of sugar that people don't think about, mm -hmm. especially when they see the so-called healthy cereals. Mm -hmm. You know, it has a field of weed in the background. Yeah, right, right. And then you look at the label, and it has, you know, an outrageous amount of sugar. And, and things like little muffins and mm -hmm. um, canned uh, fruit and granola bars fruit, right. so this oh, granola bar course. has four teaspoons so you can see you know in one meal how it's easy to add up to this mm. and this is as as you're mentioning Liza really impacts our health especially for kids you know this mm -hmm. is what kids it makes them so spun and then you know in two hours they're falling asleep and and they can't think at school and they yeah. can't learn and develop the way they should be so we've been so duped me, again me, we've been it? duped yeah. <laughs> what's the average amount of sugar that in an adult should take in. That's just yeah. a normal amount. Exactly. Yeah. So for women, it's about six teaspoons. For men, it's six about nine. But day. you know, per day. But what I always say is just focus on eating whole foods, and okay. you never have to worry about it. Okay. Uh, if you focus on eating whole foods, then you're not getting in refined sugars. And you know, mm -hmm. of course, there's there's sugar content in things like fruit, but you have fiber that slows the release of glucose into the bloodstream. So the metabolic effect of this breakfast I have here, mm -hmm. it could be the same number of calories and actually higher in fat than this, but it is a totally different effect on the body. Mm -hmm. This is going to spike insulin, make you store more fat. This is balanced with fat and fiber and protein, mm -hmm. so it's more satiating. Mm -hmm. And it's amazing, you know, when I've seen clients over the years who ditch sugar, and I always recommend doing a sugar detox, like cut sugar out for two weeks, and then just simply evaluate how you feel and you'll be amazed because so many people say they're addicted. Let me ask you a question. A staple in uh, my household, yeah. uh, peanut butter and jam. Okay. It's been mine forever. <laughs> so the question is, do you have a rough estimate of how much sugar is in regular peanut butter and natural peanut butter yeah, and so, jam and natural jam? Yes. Yeah, so the problem is a lot of your typical peanut butters do have sugar. Yes. Uh, I won't say the brands, obviously, but if you go with a natural brand where it is truly just peanuts, uh -huh. then there's no added sugar whatsoever. So I want to make the distinction between added sugars and naturally occurring sugars. There's nothing wrong with naturally occurring sugars in things like nut butters and fruit. Uh, and you know, a having applesauce or having honey, or I have here some coconut flakes that you could sprinkle on your cereal to add a natural sweetness. Of course, they're unsweetened. Mm -hmm. So there's nothing wrong with the natural sugars because then they come along with all the other accessory nutrients like vitamins and minerals. So it's great that you have the natural peanut butter. One suggestion I would make though is that you switch from jam, which can be pr just pretty much right. refined sugar, to using something like honey. Yep, raw then, honey is yeah, better. Yeah, exactly. Yes, raw honey uh, so then you get amino acids mm -hmm. you get some B vitamins you, you're getting a truly whole food I find using uh, honey as an alternative and even maple syrup sometimes mm -hmm. as yeah. an alternative to sugar yes. in your coffee yep is, is a, good a great thing. option but Joy why is refined sugar so bad for you Oh, it's so addictive. It really is because refined sugar actually stimulates dopamine release in the brain. Dopamine is our, you know, reward, uh, our reward uh, neurotransmitter. We feel good, so it becomes very addictive, and it gives us that, you know, quick high. But we always crash. So mm -hmm. if you, that's why I always suggest, you know, if you cut it out for two weeks and then evaluate how you feel, yeah. Yeah. you have such, you, your energy is more sustained. Mm -hmm. You feel happier because sugar can make people really moody and irritable. Mm -hmm. I used to be a total sugar holic. Yeah. Years ago, you know, I'd have my M&Ms every single afternoon and then I would <laughs> crash. Believe it or not, I used to be addicted to sugar. And I really thought, I'm like, oh, I'm just one of those people. I just love sugar. You know, when I'm 85, I'm still going to be eating Sweet my candies yeah, and bonbons. Just, right. So what's but, the first step then to, to 
ease that craving because you have yes. it. Sometimes I have it, and yes. immediately but I want to But I don't have it anymore. Sweet. I was right. able to kick. Yes. Yeah. So the first step is being aware. So awareness, because most people don't know that they're getting, you know, almost a cup of refined sugar per day. So read your labels. Yeah. Look for ingredients that end in OSE. OSE, glucose, right. sucrose, because a lot of people get confused. They don't know exactly what sugar is. So read your labels, know what's in your food, and then eliminate. So do a sugar detox for two weeks. Eliminate all the refined sugars. Mm -hmm. And that's why I have these other options here to show. You know, if you want something sweet mid-afternoon, have a pear, have an apple. I had a pear. I had a pear oh, today. Perfect. I did. It I was juicy that. and yep. very sweet. It's so sweet. Mm -hmm. And if it doesn't sound that satisfying to you, you know, cut up an apple and put some almond butter or seed butter mm -hmm. on it. Sprinkle mm -hmm. a little cinnamon. Kids actually do like that. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, providing options is, is key because, you know, I don't want to say get rid of the sweet taste altogether because I think food should taste sweet. Just There's change nothing your wrong. Palate, though. You yeah, just change, change your, your palate, palate because we're so used to that strong sweet. And then the other thing is when you do a, a two week sugar detox and then you do go to eat something with refined sugar, it, it you can eat it's, Tastes it's different. way Changes. too sweet. Yep. Exactly. So it really does uh, change your taste perception. Holistic nutritionist Joy McCarthy putting us on a sugar detox. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. It's 851.